Okay, let's give you guys some practice. So find the uh, find the Taylor series for this function centered at one. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, our, our normal routine would be to um, to start out with a general power series. So uh, let, we, I don't know what it looks like. I'm just going to make it up. Let's say it looks something like this. Uh, and then and then we would apply we we would then apply this transformation. So that would move everything across by by one. That would move everything across by 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 one. So it would look something like this. It would look something like this. And then uh, and then we would differentiate this. That would then give us that would then give us this. And then we would differentiate it again. And then we would differentiate it again. That would then give us this. And then differentiate again and again and again all the way to to infinity. And then we would look at the original function. Differentiate the original function that would then give us this. We would then differentiate it again and again and again all the way to to infinity. And then we would demand that the first derivative of this to match up with the first derivative of this. So let's start again. Hang on. So our normal pro, our normal routine would just start out with uh, a general series, uh, a general power series. It would look something like this. Apply this transformation. It would then look like this. Something like this. Uh, and then, and then when, when you demand the original function to match up with our, with our series, this thing here would then become up, would then move to here. And when you demand the first derivative to match up with the first derivative, then, then, it, and then this, and then you demand that the second derivative to match up with the second derivative, then, then slowly, slowly this purple line here will map on top of the red line, or will map on top of the red line, centered at 1. So that that was our, our so 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 if if you keep on demanding that the first derivative to match up with the first derivative, if you keep on demanding the second derivative to match up with the second derivative and so on, this this purple line here was will event will eventually map on top of the red line. Where the the uh, the equation for this purple line is is of this form, and we've seen this before. This is the uh, the Taylor series centered at one, centered at one. So so, so that was our normal, um, our normal slow way of doing it. A, a better way would be to do to do this. So if you notice, if you notice this, our our our, our target, we we always um, we, we we always need x minus one, x minus one, x minus one. So um, so if, if you start out with one over x, if you if you um, if you int introduce the x minus one here, and then but then. But then this has has changed our our original function, so we need to to maintain this to be the same as this. So we would negate this one here. So so we would plus one. So now now this thing here is exactly the same as this, but just written differently. The good thing is that now you've got x minus one. So you've got your your x minus one. You've got your x minus one x minus 1. So now you expand this and this is something that that you should you should recognize. Let, so so let, let me just switch these two around. I'm going to put the one in front so it will look like this. One over put the put this one here and then you've got and then you've got plus and then you've got your bubble here x minus 1. You see this thing here is exactly the same as this thing here. So uh uh so but, but the good thing is that when you expand this then you you have your x minus one, x minus one, x minus one, and so on. And this, this is something that we can expand because, because if you look at this here, hang on, remember it's one and then one plus bubble. So, so we should be using, we should be using this, we should be using this. So it's one, so it's one and then over one plus bubble. This is our bubble here. So we should, we should be making, we should be making use of this. So let's let's expand this. So hang on. So hang on. So we are going to make use of this. So we've got one, one, and then one, one, plus, plus, and then we've got our bubble here, our bubble here. So now just blindly expand it. So here you've got one, so that's our one, and then you've got you've got take away, you've got take away, and then you've got your bubble here, you've got your bubble, and then you've got plus here and then plus and then you've got your bubble squared you've got your bubble squared and so on so when you expand this it will then give you this and um, and if you get a graph plot and um, plot this you can see 
you can see that this blue line here, this blue line here is slowly being mapped on top of the red line. So if you keep on, if you keep on, um, if you keep on going all the way to infinity, then the blue line will map on top, on top of the red line. But but now we need to um, to consider the uh, the interval of convergence. So remember, going back to here, the series, going back to here, going back to here, the series, this series will represent will represent this thing here if if it's between if the modulus of x is between um it is less than less than one so so this series is valid sorry let me start again sorry this series will represent this if the uh, the modulus of x is less than one so our 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 series here would represent would represent one over x if if the modulus of this is uh is less than one so so uh so hang on so what what we need to do now is we we need to take the modulus of our bubble basically um uh, make sure it's less than one so whenever you see this you can tra you can translate it to this add one to both sides add one to every uh, every side then then that will then give us this you see our series is our series will represent one over x from from zero to two. So if, if you keep on going all the way to infinity, this blue line here will represent the red line in in between zero and two. So in, in between this region here. Okay.